Hi, welcome to a new Plug and Groove video. My name is John. Skippy Limb Cool. Hands together, head down. Welcome. Hey, so we're going to look at MIDI effects. This is a topic that needs its own little short video uh, detailing how to get MIDI effects to work. This is MIDI effects outside of the ones that come with Unify. Unify comes with a pretty nice little set of arpeggiators and so forth. But when you go to the All My MIDI Effects list, it's showing you only those that are built into Unify. Even if you scan all of your VST plugins over here, if you go scan all your VST plugins, it won't propagate a list of MIDI effects. That's because in the plugin spec, there is no checkbox for this is a MIDI effect. So it leaves it up to you to set it up yourself, unfortunately. Now, I will point out that if I go here, if I go to swap all instruments on this instrument list, right? If I go to Plugin Boutique right here, Scalar 2 shows up. And I could go over here to one of the artists and I could choose a song and hit the little A button so that you can play it on your keyboard. And you hear it because over here is a built-in synth engine. And you can change between the patches. Uh, they work, but you're going to sound like everybody else that has Scalar 2 as a, a plugin instead of the other cool way, which is to use it as a MIDI effect to talk to all of your plugins, right? And we want it to work that way. It's not working that way. So I'm going to make this go away. In fact, I want to go over here and we're going to place this with just a layer preset. Let's say we go Plucky Klamath. That's a nice cool sound. Now. The idea is I'm going to actually have Scalar talking to more than one layer by, be, before I'm done with this. But to start with, we're just going to work with one layer just to make it easy. So go to layer up here, click add MIDI effect, empty MIDI layer. This adds a single MIDI layer in the MIDI effect slot, at the very, very top. It's empty. And if I click this little bullet, you'll see that it's the same list as if I click this little yellow bullet right here, because it's actually the same bullet uh, for MIDI effects. Uh, we just now have it so you can have it on a layer, but then it can't talk to any of the layers. Up here, it can talk to as many layers as you want. But the whole first goal is to get this darn list to show Scalar, because it's not showing Scalar. Also, maybe show some of my other effects. I have a whole bunch of MIDI effects that I've added to Unify to my plugin list. They're not showing up. so. Right here in the bottom, right little corner, there's a little thing and you see plugin subsets when you hover over it. Click there. In the top left corner, go to MIDI effects. Now I've made a preset called all my MIDI effects. And this shows the ones that are built into Unify. I could add to this list or I could make a totally new list. Totally up to me. If I want to add a new list, it goes new subset. Select that subset and say rename and we'll use my name, Skips uh, MIDI Effects. And I'm gonna, I could say other stuff. Hit return. It's now updated. So we're going to select that first. So it's now highlighted. And now I can go here and go Scalar. There's Scalar 2. Um, now it shows it as both uh, Scalar 2 and Scalar 2 Audio. Audio has some additional things. I don't think you need that. You can say add selected. It will know that it's supposed to be used as a MIDI effect when it's put into the spot um, this way. Now, other ones I have, numerology, I know is one of mine I like to use. Chord Pro Potion, if you were here. Add selected. Uh, there's Cream, which is a nice sequencer. Add uh, uh, RY. R-H-Y, is it right? Um, yeah, the, this generator is really, really fun for different things. So I have quite a few MIDI effects. Let's say I'm going to stop right here. I could, I actually have a file with the whole print of all my lists, but these are the main ones. I mainly want Scalar 2 to be there. So I hit Save. Make sure you hit Save so that that file is now updated. Close. Now when I click this little bullet on the MIDI effect, there is now a new entry in this middle because this middle is for custom things down here is like all the MIDI effects. But again, MIDI effects don't get tagged in any way for Unify to be able to add MIDI effects here. So you have to add them to a subset. And there it is, Scalar 2. 
Now, because this is not connected on the layer, I actually need to connect this MIDI effect to this layer. Right here where it says in, I can just go down here and say MIDI effect layer one. I could go up here and say scalar two, number one. And now when I click down here, you'll see it's been renamed to be scalar uh, number two. If I open up scalar two, you have to do your choosing an artist or something like that. Turn on A. Cool. So it's working. Off here you go. Now, what's fun with this, however, I could say add a new empty instrument effect. And if I want, I could go over here and I could say from my favorites, choose Serum. I could go to one of my favorite packs of libraries. Of course, it's got to be a plugin guru pack like Epic. Epic is the, the trans library stuff. So there's all these cool plucks. So say pluck. Now all I have to do is where it says in, choose this to be scalar two and now that's sounding a little bit more serious. Now that's sounding a lot more serious. Now let's add a patch from any of my libraries that I have loaded. So let's go to um oh Del Norte has all sorts of really cool pluck stuff. So let's go here to plucks. It's going to load Omnisphere. Yep. So we go pluck. Let's right click and let's say add instrument. I'm not adding it as unify, just as an instrument. So it just shows up all the instrument parameters, just like these two instrument layers. There it is. Click here and say scalar one. Two octaves. And maybe I want to go to Mega Magic Pads 2, which is a new library I'm building right now. Let's add Crystal Cathedral. And let's go over here and say, add this to the instrument list. Click in, go Scalar 1. Turn it down by holding down Option first, and then you can drag to turn everybody down together. So I want Serum to be a little bit more predominant. Go to your outputs and go to Unify Standard Dynamics. Put Loud Max at the output of everything. You can even bring down the threshold right here to like minus three to just glue it all together a little bit. This way it won't distort when it leaves Unify to go into your DAW or wherever you're using Unify. And these all sorts of fun things. This is four synthesizers being used with Scalar at the same time. Easy. Save it as a patch and call it up in a fraction of a second. Okay. So that's how it works. You've got to make a MIDI effect subset. You by just going to the subset list, going to MIDI effects make a new subset or use the all MIDI effects subset that is provided, but you need to update it by going down the list and adding your MIDI effects. <laughs> Remember their names and then you just type them up here in the search window, hit add selected for each one, hit save when you're done. Boom. Now you have MIDI effects. If you use a MIDI effect up here in the top, it can talk to more than one layer. I'm talking to four layers. If I wanted to, I could go, oh, I think Serum by itself is going to be what's going to work for this. I could say, copy this plugin state. So I've now saved it to a buffer. Hold down option to get rid of that. Get rid of everything but Serum. And let's go over to this little dot. And if we just go over here, Scalar 2. And then right here, the little dot, we're going to replace it with its save states. I like those chords and everything. So we just say, Paste, sub, uh, plug in state, <clears throat> and now it's just Serum. Oh wait, I gotta go back. This is one of those where, go to Scalar, and I think we go right here. 
transpose it here. So here is just scalar controlling serum. Okay, so lots of options come available to you, but the first thing you have to do is get so that you have a list of your cool MIDI effects like Scalar 2. That's how you do it. Hope this video helps. If you have questions, put them in the comment field. We have forums at forums.pluginguru.com where you can continue conversations on this topic. And thank you. See you in the next video.